Another day, another story. The story's name is Determination of Priorities. In a distant future, where a Marxist ideology dominated society, there lived a man named Daniel who was deeply religious. His unwavering faith in a higher power guided him through life, but in this society, religion was seen as a relic of the past, an opiate that blinded people to the realities of the world. As a result, Daniel's beliefs made him an outcast in a world where materialism reigned supreme. Daniel lived in a small community where everyone knew each other. Initially, his religious views were tolerated, but as time passed, his unwavering devotion and his attempts to spread his faith became a source of conflict. His neighbors, friends, and even family members began to view him with suspicion and hostility. The local authorities, who were staunch adherents to the Marxist ideology, viewed Daniel as a threat to their vision of an atheistic society. They believed that his religious fervor would undermine their efforts to create a utopian world. So, they decided to take action against him. One day, as Daniel was returning home from his place of worship, he found himself surrounded by an angry mob. His neighbors, once his friends, now filled with hatred, brandished sticks and stones, their faces contorted with rage. They accused him of brainwashing people, of spreading dangerous ideas that challenged the principles of their society. Fear coursed through Daniel's veins, but he refused to renounce his faith. He stood tall, clutching his holy book close to his chest, and began to speak calmly to the mob. He pleaded with them to understand that his beliefs were personal, that he sought only spiritual solace, not to undermine their way of life. But his words fell on deaf ears. The mob, blinded by their collective rage, saw only a threat to their carefully constructed order. Violence erupted, and Daniel was left battered and bloodied, his body broken but his spirit unyielding. The authorities, not content with the mob's assault, decided to expel Daniel from the community. They saw him as a symbol of dissent, an example that could not be allowed to exist. They feared that others might follow in his footsteps, questioning the foundations of their ideology. Daniel was banished from the community, forced to leave behind everything he had known. He wandered through the wilderness, seeking refuge in caves and forests, all the while clinging to his faith, finding solace in his connection to the divine. As news of Daniel's banishment spread, his story reached the hearts of people far and wide. Some were sympathetic to his plight, while others saw him as a threat to their own societies. However, a small group of individuals, dissatisfied with the oppressive regime under which they lived, saw in Daniel's struggle the potential for change. They formed an underground movement, seeking to challenge the hegemony of the Marxist society. Inspired by Daniel's resilience and the power of his faith, they organized secret gatherings, sharing stories of hope and resistance. Eventually, their movement gained strength, and the winds of change began to blow. The Marxist regime, weakened by its own internal contradictions, faced growing discontent from its citizens. The once mighty authority began to crumble, unable to maintain its grip on power. In this atmosphere of shifting tides, Daniel's story emerged as a symbol of the struggle for individual freedom and the right to hold one's own beliefs. The people, disillusioned with the rigid dogmas imposed upon them, found inspiration in his unwavering devotion. As the old regime finally fell, a new society began to emerge, a society that valued diversity of thought and belief, where religious and non-religious individuals could coexist in harmony. Daniel, the religious man who had once been an enemy of the state, was now hailed as a hero, 
a catalyst for change. His long and arduous journey had not been in vain. His unwavering faith had become a beacon of hope, a testament to the resilience of the human spirit. And as the sun rose on this new era, Daniel stood among his fellow citizens, ready to embrace a future where religious freedom and Marxist principles could coexist side by side. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more stories.